teapot. One, two, three, four, five, six, and back. The teapot starts with the man's left hand to the lady's right in nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the left and you both take a step away. Now from here, the men are going to pull with his left hand and as he steps in, he draws the lady towards him and we step underneath the lady's arm, taking our right hand behind the lady's back and placing it on the lady's hip. So from this position, we look like this, side to side, not behind each other, but side to side. From there, the men are going to guide the lady round him with his right hand as we walk into a circle for two beats. We're going one and two. As the lady continues to walk round the man, he's going to drop his left elbow down as he turns to face the lady. We finish the move with a return as we both step in, raising the hand over the lady's head, and then we lower the hand and step back. The arm drive swizzle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back. The arm drive swizzle starts with the man's left hand to the lady's right, in nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the left, and as the man steps back, he offers his right hand to the lady. Now from here, you're going to step in, pulling back with your left elbow, keeping the hands nice and low and close to the body. You now twist your upper body as you pull back with your right elbow, and then twist again, bringing the left hand up to the left shoulder. Keeping hold of both hands now, we're going to raise the left hand. The ladies turn all the way around, keeping hold of both hands, so their left arm ends up in a half Nelson position, and we end up square on with each other. At this stage, be careful not to pull up with that right hand. If anything, you're going to be pulling down. So from here, you're going to raise this left hand, pull down with the right to turn the ladies once. When she faces you, you just let go of this right hand, keep the left hand high to turn her a second time, and then we lower the hand and step back. The almost pretzel. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, and back. The almost pretzel. So that so you can see what's going on a little better, we're going to do it from this side. It's the man's left to the lady's right in nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the left, and as the man steps back, he turns a quarter turn to his right, offering his right hand to the ladies. Now we're going to sidestep to our left towards the lady and as we do so we raise this left hand and the lady goes to take that man's hand. Just as the lady goes to take that man's hand we're going to whip that hand away continuing to sidestep over to the left. So we still have our backs more or less to the lady with our left arm in a half Nelson position. As we now sidestep to the right, the men are going to extend that left arm out to the side so we're more or less shoulder to shoulder. To finish the move, keeping this left hand at waist level, the men are going to pull back with that left hand, sending the ladies into a spin. When the ladies are finished, we step back catching. We finish the move by stepping in, raising that hand to return the lady, and then we lower the hand as we step back. First move barrier. One, two, three, four, five, six, and back. The first move barrier starts with the man's left hand to the lady's right, and we're in nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the left, and we both take a step away. From here, the man steps forward, drawing the lady towards him, bringing his left hand to his left shoulder and placing his right hand on the lady's hip. And from a different angle, you're in this position here, side by side. Now from here, the men are going to pull round with this right hand, push down behind the lady's back with the left, as the lady pivots on her left foot, taking a step back onto her right. Now, keeping this left hand nice and low, you're going to draw the lady forward. So as I bring Lucy forward, she just takes a step onto her right foot. 
Now making sure your left hand is nice and low so the lady's arm can go over the top and not get caught underneath. So with your right hand you're going to guide the lady into your left arm. The lady takes the left arm over the top so we're now looking at the back of the lady's head. To finish the move we're going to pull back and raise this left hand and winding the ladies all the way around and when we face each other we just lower the hand and step back. The figure of eight. One, two, three, four, five, and back. The figure of eight. So as you can see it better from a different angle, we're going to do it from this side. So it's the man's right to the lady's right, in nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the right, and we both take a step away. Now from here, as the man steps forward, he's going to raise his right hand and he's going to turn to the left. The ladies are just taking a step forward to the side of the man. So the ladies are on the left side of the man. As we continue to change places, you take your right hand over your head, you dip it in front of the face, and then you raise it, turning the ladies all the way around to face. We're going to finish now with a return, so we step in raising that right hand over the lady's head and then we just lower the hand and step back. The arm drive swizzle basket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and back. The arm drive swizzle basket starts with the man's left hand to the lady's right and we're in nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the left and we both take a step back. Now from here we step forward pulling back with our left elbow keeping the arms and the elbows and the hands close to the body. You now twist as we pull back with the right elbow and now we twist again bringing the left hand up to the left shoulder. Now keeping hold of both hands, the men are going to raise that left hand, turning the ladies all the way around so that she faces him again, with, so her left arm is now in a half Nelson position. Now when the ladies are in this position, be careful not to pull up with that right hand so it goes up the lady's back. If anything, we're going to be pulling down with that right hand. So from here then, we're going to raise that left hand so the lady turns once, pulling down with the right. Now keeping hold of both hands, you keep this right hand nice and low, left hand high as we turn the ladies a second time and she wraps into your side into a basket position. We then finish like an ordinary basket by lowering the left hand, twisting the ladies out to the side. Keep the left hand nice and low as we lead the ladies forward. We now finish by raising the left hand, pulling back with the right to unwrap the ladies, and then we lower the hand and step back. We're now going to finish with a return, letting go of the right hand, step in, raising the left to return the ladies, and then we just lower the hand and step back. The first move basic. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and back. The first move basic starts with the man's left hand to the lady's right, and we begin nice and close. We draw a semicircle to the left, and we both take a step away. Now from here, the man steps forward, drawing the lady to his side as he places his right hand on her hip and the left hand goes up to the left shoulder. So from a different angle, we're in this position here. Now from there, we're going to pull round with the right hand, push down behind the lady's back, twisting the ladies out to the side as she pivots on her left foot, taking a step back on the right. Now for this move, it's a good idea for the man to take his left foot behind the right to mirror the ladies. Now from here, we're going to step forward onto our outside foot. Now that's the left for the man and right for the lady. So as we lead the lady forward, we just step onto that outside foot. From there, we just transfer the weight back to the other side, which is the man's right foot, and the natural opposite for the ladies, which is the left. We're now going to rock the ladies out like a normal first move for two beats. You turn it out for one, rock forward on two. From here, we're going to do exactly the same thing again. You lead onto your outside foot. That's the left for the man, right for the ladies. 
We now change the weight so it's right for the man and left for the ladies. It's a now another two beat rock as we turn the ladies out for one, rock forward on two. Keeping this left hand nice and low, you'd now lead the ladies forward slightly. And now we're going to do a push out finish. So with the right hand that's on the lady's hip, you gently push the ladies forward as she free spins in front of you, catching with the left hand. We finish with the return, stepping in, raising that left hand to return the ladies, and then we lower the hand and step back at the end. Double-handed catapult. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and back. The double-handed catapult. Starts with the man's right hand to the lady's right and we begin nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the right and we both step away. Now from here the men are going to pull down with his right hand and raise it over his head like front crawl swimming or overarm bowling. So we step forward, the man pulls down, he raises that right hand and the ladies turn anti-clockwise underneath that man's right. We now take a second step forward leaning away from each other as we offer that left hand as the ladies have taken a step back. Now as the man steps back, he's going to place the lady's hand from his right to his left and as they continue to change places, we're going to raise that left hand, turning the ladies as we have both of the ladies' hand in our left. Now from here, we pull down with that left hand, we raise it, we turn the ladies underneath, take a second step forward and as we step forward the men are going to change hands from his left to his right, still holding on to both of the ladies' hands. We now finish by pulling down with that right hand, raising it again, turning the ladies all the way around to face. From there we just return holding on with both hands, dip the hand in front of the face, you take the hand over your head so both the lady's arms drops on your shoulders. You now take a step back, sliding that hand down the man's arm, finishing left to right. The slow comb. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, and back. The slow comb starts with the man's right hand to the lady's right and we begin nice and close. The man draws a semicircle to the right and we both step away. Now from here, we're going to step in raising the right hand, returning the ladies anti-clockwise and when we face each other we just dip the hand in front of the face, take the hand over the head, dropping that right hand onto the right shoulder. When you've dropped the hand there, you need to let go of the right hand and with the left hand place it behind the lady's back. From here, we're just going to rock the lady to our right, then rock her to our left, back to the right and then back to the left. To finish, we just push the ladies away from the hip with our left hand and as she steps back, she slides her hand down the man's left arm into his left hand. The single-handed basket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and back. The single-handed basket starts with the man's left hand to the lady's right. We begin nice and close. We draw a semicircle to the left and as the man steps back he offers his right hand to the lady, so a double hand hold. Now from here the men are going to step in and as he does so he's going to throw his left hand over to the right, letting go of that left hand, wrapping the ladies into his right hand side. So from a different angle you're in this position here, single hand hold, not holding on with the left. From there, pulling with your right hand, the men are going to twist the ladies out to the side so the lady steps back on her right foot. From here again, lead the ladies forward, twisting her in. We're now going to gently nudge the lady with the right shoulder as we pull back with this right hand, unwrapping the ladies out to the side, preparing her for a flick spin. Now the ladies need to give us a little bit of resistance in their left forearm to give us something to push against. So from here, we step in, flick down with that right hand, the lady spins, and when we face each other, we step back catching left to right.
the shoulder drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back. The shoulder drop. To make it easier to see what we're going to do, we're going to do it from this side. It's the man's right hand to the lady's right, and we begin nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the right, and we both step away. Now from here, we're going to step in, raising that right hand, turning the ladies anti-clockwise in front of us. And when we face each other, you dip the hand in front of the face. And then the men turn to the right, going underneath that right hand, dropping the right hand onto his right shoulder. From here, the men are going to extend the right arm out to the right, and then he's going to bring the right hand back to the shoulder. That bit always seems a bit pointless, but it's there to keep the move on the beat. The next bit, we're going to let go of this right hand. The man takes a step forward, but he's going to offer his left hand behind the back as the lady slides her hand down the man's back and arm into his left hand. To finish, the man just takes a step directly behind himself. As he pulls down with the left hand, he's going to raise it to the lady's turn underneath that left hand, and then we both take a step back to finish. The yo-yo catapults. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and back. The yo-yo catapult starts with the man's right hand to the lady's right, and we begin nice and close. We draw a semicircle to the right, and we both step away. Now from here, the men are going to step forward, taking his right hand across his chest to touch his left shoulder. So as we draw the ladies towards you, we both step forward. And if I can shuffle around, we're in this position here, still holding on slightly to the ladies' fingers. We're now going to extend that right arm out to the right, turning the ladies out to the side as the lady pivots on her left foot, taking her right foot behind the left. She can also place her left hand up on the guy's shoulder just to give her some extra support. Now the men are going to turn the ladies and he's going to do it by staying where he is on the spot, but he's going to raise his right hand, turning the ladies behind him, so he has to twist around slightly. And when the ladies are finished turning, he then faces front again, stepping forward offering that left hand. So we're now double hand hold. We finish now by pulling forward with both hands, leading the ladies to the man's left hand side, keeping both hands down at waist level. So to finish, we're going to let go of this right hand, keep the left hand nice and low as you draw a big circle round in front of yourself, and then flick spin the lady round. And when she's finished spinning, we step back catching with either hand. We're now going to return the lady by raising the hand over the lady's head, returning her, and then we lower the hand and step back. The pretzel. One, two, three, four, five, and back. The pretzel. So that the men can see what's going on a little better, we're going to do it from this side. It's the man's left hand to the lady's right, and we begin nice and close. You start by drawing a semicircle to the left, and you step away. And as the man steps away, he's going to turn a quarter turn to his right, and he's going to offer his right hand behind his back. From there, you're going to step to the left, and as you step to the left, the men are going to raise his left hand as the lady takes hold of that man's right behind his back. Now you continue to go to the left, so we go back to back, and as we go to the left, the man lowers his left hand, and he raises his right hand, so it goes over the lady's head. You're now going to drop that right hand down in front of the lady's face, and then you turn your upper body, so your back is now facing the ladies. It feels a bit awkward at this stage. You then take the right hand over your head, dropping it down by your left shoulder, so the ladies are still now behind the men. To finish, we're now going to pull through with this left hand, turning the ladies underneath, letting go of that right hand. As the lady turns to face, we both step back left to right. The sway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back. The sway starts with the man's right hand to the lady's right, and we begin nice and close. 
You draw a semicircle to the right and we both step away. Now from here, the men are going to pull across with his right hand, bringing that right hand up to the lady's hip. So as we both step forward, my right hand flicks across up to Lucy's hip. Now at this stage, you need to make sure that the right hand doesn't go up behind the lady's back. The other thing is, is to make sure the right hand is underneath the lady's arm and not over the top. So we're on the lady's hip, holding onto her hand. The other thing you can do is offer your left palm to the lady and she's going to accept palm facing down. From there you just twist the lady's back as she takes a step back onto her right foot and then we just twist the ladies forward. Now there are many different options to end this move but the way we're going to do it is to just nudge the lady forward and as you pull back with the right hand you're going to place the lady's hand into your left. To finish we're going to step in raising the left hand to return the ladies. When we face each other we just lower the hand and step back. The neck break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back. The neck break starts with the man's left hand to the lady's right, and we begin nice and close. We draw a semicircle to the left, and we both take a step away. Now from here, the man pulls the lady towards him, and as he steps in, he raises his right arm so it's just over the lady's shoulder. Now try not to get the lady into the throat, and from a different angle, we look in this position here. The other thing you don't want to do is just rest on the lady's shoulder. The arm is just over the top. Now from this position, we're going to transfer the lady's hand from our left to our right as the lady pivots on her left foot, taking a step back onto her right as we extend our right arm. Now we're going to wrap the lady forward, keeping that right arm at shoulder height, just bring the lady forward. Now don't bring her too forward or wrap her too much into your right arm. We've now got something to pull against on the lady's hand as we pull back with the right arm, turn the ladies underneath and then we step back at the end. Finish with the return, raising that right hand, stepping back, staying right to right. Left-handed comb. One, two, three, and back. The left-handed comb. So the men can see what's going on a little easier. We're going to do it from this side. It starts with the man's left hand to the lady's right and we begin nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the left and we both step away. Now from here the men are going to return the ladies anti-clockwise and as the lady turns all the way around when she faces you you need to keep that left arm vertical, elbow pointing to the floor, palm to the ceiling. That way you can make a little arc for you to get your head through. You might need to twist your upper body slightly to take that left hand over your head to drop that hand onto your shoulder. Be careful not to turn, which a lot of people do. You just want to stay on the spot. You now twist to face the lady as you then step back as she slides her hand down the man's arm into his left hand. The accordion. One, two three, four, five, six, and back. The accordion. So that we can show you at an easier angle, we're going to do it square on. It starts with the man's right hand to the lady's right and we begin nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the right and you both step back. Now from here, the men are going to raise their right hand to turn the ladies anti-clockwise underneath. And when we face each other, the man keeps his right hand high, he offers the left, and you both step to your left. So from here, we've got the right hand high, the left hand low, looking at each other through the hands. We're now going to step to the side as the man raises his left hand to meet his right, so he touches both hands together over the lady's head, and we're actually looking at the back of the lady's head at this stage. We continue to change sides, dropping that right hand down, but keeping the left hand high. We're now going to turn the ladies all the way around as we step in, raising that right hand to meet the left, turning the ladies all the way around this time, and as we step back, we step back, crossed hands. The first move, teapot. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, one, and back. The first move teapot starts with the man's left hand to the lady's right, and we start off nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the left, and you both take a step away. Now from here, you're going to pull the ladies towards you, and as you draw her in, you take your right arm out to the side, and you place it on the lady's hip with the left hand up to the left shoulder. So from a different angle, we're in this position here with the right hand on the hip, left hand shoulder. Now pulling round with the right hand, pushing down with your left, the ladies are going to pivot on their left foot, taking their right foot behind the left. Now we're going to pivot the ladies back by bringing the left hand back to the left shoulder, and the ladies are going to pivot on their left foot again back to their previous position. Now I'm just going to change my angle so you can see the next part a little easier. What we're going to do from here is you're going to take your left hand and you're going to raise it over the lady's head. Your right hand stays on the lady's hip as you turn her on the spot, keeping that right hand more or less where it is on that lady's hip. So we end up in this position here, dropping that left hand onto your left shoulder. So the lady's arm is behind the back of the, of the guy's head. We're now going to walk around for two beats as we walk one and two. The men continue to guide the lady behind him with that right hand. As the lady continues to walk round, the man pulls down with his left to turn to face the lady. And then we just need to finish with a return, raising that left hand over the lady's head, lowering the hand, stepping away to finish. The man spin, half Nelson flick spin. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back. The man spin, half Nelson flick spin. Starts with the man's left hand to the lady's right, and we begin nice and close. You draw a semicircle to the left, and you both take a step back. Now from here, the men are going to pull the ladies forward, and he's going to take his right hand over his left. It needs to go over the left. If it's too low, it will just get caught underneath his left arm. The other thing you need to remember is keep the elbow close to the body, otherwise you may end up knocking the lady in the face with your elbow. So from here, the man pulls with his left hand. The right hand goes over the top. You latch the hand onto your right hip. The men continue to turn now on the spot as the lady slides her hand across the man's back and across his middle until his back is facing the lady. We then step away from each other, offering that right hand. We're now going to go into the half Nelson flick spin. So the man takes his right hand behind his back into that half Nelson to prepare the ladies for this spin. He now throws the right arm out. The lady spins, and as she spins, he turns round to face her, stepping back, catching with either hand. We're now going to finish off with the return, taking the hand over the lady's head, and when we face each other, we lower the hands and step back. Hatchback combo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back. Hatchback combo starts with the man's right hand to the lady's right, and we begin nice and close. We draw a semicircle to the right, and we both take a step back. From here, the men are going to step forward, taking his right hand over to his left shoulder, with the ladies taking their right hand over the top of the man. So if I can shuffle round, you're in this position here, not holding on to the lady's hand at all. From there, we're both going to take a small step behind each other's back as the man throws his right arm out to the right, sending the lady into a spin behind his back. The man still keeps his right arm out so the ladies can see it so she can catch that right hand. From here, with the back facing the lady, you're going to take a step to the right, changing hands behind your back from your right to your left. As you take a step backwards now, you extend that left hand forward. Pull back with the left hand as you turn the ladies underneath for a clockwise turn, stepping away from each other at the end. We finish with the return, raising that left hand over the lady's head, and when we face each other, we just lower the hand and step back. <laughs>